Hello, friends. Uh, welcome back. This is Amarantha Sandys. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to do this pinwheel. Do you know that some toys like this one do not require any batteries? So uh, this is something that I used to play when I was a kid. Uh, same with kites. Those are we're going to use some very, very uh, uh, a few supplies, probably stuff that you find around your mom's and your dad's house. Just uh, printed paper, markers, rulers, uh, scissors, a pencil that it has a good amount of eraser because uh, we're going to try to, because the pinwheel is going to live in here, and a push pin. And make sure to uh, ask for help whenever you know you're gonna uh, assemble this into your pencil so the first thing you're gonna do you are going to uh, measure a square uh, six by six I'm only gonna measure right here um, just to show you I found that measuring it is uh, extremely important too because some of the kids that I work with they still have a little bit of a hard time so I have my square in here it is ready to go and we are going to try to find the center of this and a trick to that is that if you place your ruler corner to corner and then you're going to draw a diagonal line and then you're going to do the same on the other side that is going to be the center of your pinwheel it took just like seconds to do that then the next thing you're going to do you are going to bring your ruler and you're going to measure two inches from the middle outside middle and outside and then just place a little dot and i'm using a different color because i want to make sure that you are not going to go you're not going to cut all the way here i'm going to place another line um, if for some reason you cut it then well then you can do it again uh, so the next thing we're going to do, we are going to decorate this. You can leave it white. Um, you could, if you have origami paper, I found that you can use origami paper to do this. They have some beautiful patterns, but if you like to create your own thing, then just use your own designs. Um, I want to introduce you to something very quick, and these are just the uh, lines that you are going to come up with a design. Maybe pick one or two lines, horizontal, vertical, diagonal, broken, zigzag, curvy, spiral. You can combine one or two, and then you can also um, do your um, designs with a pencil first in case you messed up. But I want to go straight, and I just want to do, maybe I want to start with some curvy lines. Just like the water, it's calm. And maybe I want to add a second one on top. Why not? And um, you could maybe add, um, you can fill in the color um, or not, or maybe you want to do some lines in here. I'm just going to do this just um, so it shows a little bit of the design. You can spend a lot of time doing these designs, but I'm just going to leave it uh, this way. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this, starting from the corner, and make sure to stop where the red dot is. One, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to pierce the middle. I'm going to pierce the center of this. Then with another marker, just because I want to make sure you understand how it's assembled, I'm going to place a dot on this side, on the right side, and I'm going to turn it so the dot is on the same side, on your right side. If I want this design to be the inside, of my pinwheel, just like this one, uh, then I need to start from the back. So I'm gonna grab my pinwheel from behind and I'm gonna pierce it through the first one, the second corner, the third corner, the fourth, 
And once you're on the fourth, you probably need some uh, small fingers because you need to find the uh, center of the pinwheel. Voila. Then you're gonna grab your pencil. You can either pierce it right here or pierce it on the side. I'm gonna try to do it on the side. And be careful. Make sure to leave some uh, spaces right here because I wanna I wanna make sure this is spins. If if it's too tight, it's not gonna blow. But if if you pull it out a little bit, it can spin. So I'm trying. Give it a try to see if it works. There you go. So make a pinwheel for all your family members, put them behind your bike or just run around on a windy day and they, uh, they will work really well. So thank you again for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial and I will see you soon. Thank you, bye.